Good day, beloved listener and viewer. This is the third day of um, Gregorian calendar's year 2019. This is the 3rd of January by that calendar. But by indigenous count, we add 10,000 to it. So that would be the year 12,019. And I will indulge you with these beautiful ceramical doves as a couple of peace doves that we so much need these times of war crimes all over our Mother Earth. Such a simple, marvellous piece and gives you contact with the higher forces. I have a very important video today to make. It is an evolutionary piece. So please be powerful here with me. We have two subjects. The first one is You can find on Baltic Sea Region radiationwatch.org, B-S-R-R-W.org. The reform of basic safety standard limit for non-ionizing radiation exposure from electromagnetic fields. This reform has been released by European Committee on Radiation Risk due to that the current advisor of governments on the levels of non-ionizing radiation exposure, the International Commission of Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, ICNIRP.org, has proven to have failed to act as the world's authority on non-ionizing radiation risk. So, ECRR, that has also been issuing this book, on ionizing radiation risks has created reform of non-ionizing risk, non-ionizing radiation risk modeling. That will be one issue. The second issue is that here in Sweden, where I am right now, obvious electromagnetic radiation, quiet and silent warfare has been activated. And I will tell you about how these modems and mobile phones have been, by me personally, measured to start giving out much higher radiation than they did just a couple of months ago by program coming from corporations through their programming in the technical devices. The Wi-Fi buttons don't help to be switched off anymore. They still emit Wi-Fi levels of radiation all the time. We're talking about many millions of people exposed to low cooking. That is about high time to get understood as modern warfare, as the era of electromagnetic warfare that comes after nuclear war era threats. So these are the two subjects and um, <clears throat> let's get started. 
So, as I showed you this book, this is the book that European Committee on Radiation Risk has already published 2011, just a couple of months after Fukushima. And its web page can be found like this, .eu, instead of .org, that has been kidnapped by Pentagon from European Committee on Radiation Risk. Furthermore, I will show you one book. That is the recommendation on the correct model of radiation risk, ionizing radiation risk, that is nuclear. That was, this is ECRR 2010, that replaced ICRP modeling of corrupt and uh, mass murdering ICRP model by this ECRR model that establishes the victims of ionizing radiation much more correctly, but still not adding the infertility victims. But on the 12th of December, a historic event occurred when this ECRR, European Committee on Radiation Risk, through Subcommittee on Non-Ionizing Radiation, has now provided to all agencies of European Radiation Protection and even EIA and others, world agencies. Document that is a re reform of basic safety standard limit for non-ionizing radiation, radiation exposure from electromagnetic fields. Statement has been received by all radiation safety agencies of European Union as well as EIA and others, with following responsible receivers specified in the document that you can download from uh, bsrrw.org if you... on the very front page right now, but further on you can find it there on the page Protection and its subpage EMF War. And there you can see all 40 receivers of this basic safety standard reform. And uh, it is here specified that unit to quantify exposure to electromagnetic fields is hereby proposed and it's called NRAD. Furthermore, proposed are exposure limits. These exposure limits have been worked forward by European Committees on Radiation Risk, Non-Ionizing Radiation Risk Subcommittees, Scientific Network, and has been specifically delivered by its Scientific Secretary, Professor Christopher Busby. <clears throat> the responsible radiation safety agencies have to address the subject to Administrative Secretary Roland von Malmborg, now here in Sweden, and based on the received input from them during the following three months, on the 12th of March, the limits of exposure dose will be published as Final. And uh, to summarize this,
The current advisor of government on the levels of non-ionizing radiation exposure, the International Commission of Non-ionizing Radiation Protection, ICNIRP.org, has proven to have failed to act as the world's authority on non-ionizing radiation risk. It was a source of concern to the committee that no official organization has properly addressed the epidemiological and animal study evidence nor has there been any attempt to quantify exposure similar to the case with ionizing radiation and the International Commission on Radiological Protection, ICRP.org, an authority that has been corrected by the ECRR ionizing radiation model, Euratcom.eu. Accordingly to the committee has developed accordingly the committee has developed a tool for quantifying cumulative exposure. A new quantity is hereby defined, the NRAD. Non-ionizing radiation absorbed dose. One NRAD is defined as an absorption of radiofrequency energy by tissue equal to 1 kg per chilo of tissue. The quantity is thus defined as energy per unit mass, just as the ionizing radiation units gray and rad are. So non-ionizing dose, NRAD, equals to energy, kg, to tissue mass, kilograms. Survey data suggests that the average daily adult use of a smartphone is between 2.3 and 3.5 hours, in convenience terms, these limits suggest that safe use of a smartphone should be restricted to 0.65 NRAD per day for adults, which is an exposure of about one hour. And for children, the value depends on age, 7 to 18 years, and is 3 to 30 minutes. The committee position on children under the age of 6 years is that they should not be permitted to use mobile phones and that their exposure to other radiofrequency devices should redu be reduced as far as possible. These limits must be applied on all RF emitting devices, including Wi-Fi masts, with mobile data generators, mobile phones, laptops, Wi-Fi modems, iPads, smart meters, and all other devices which cause RF exposure to humans. And this suggestion <coughs> that will be standardized in three months has also an acknowledgement of limitations and necessary reform. The ECRR non-ionizing radiation dose NRAD model assesses a dose limit only in regard to cancer studies in rodents. It presently does not assess potential effects of radiation frequency on other conditions or effects on other living creatures. Health authorities of some governments have recently taken steps to reduce public exposure to radiofrequency electromagnetic radiation by regulating use of wireless devices by children and recommending preferential use of wired communication devices in general. But this shall be a coordinated international effort within a conceptual safety reform. Due to the most rapidly increasing anthropogenic radiofrequency environmental exposure effects since the mid 20th century and the arriving technologies like the Internet of Things and 5G, that would add millions more radiofrequency transmitters, a legal conceptual reform of radiofrequency safe exposure is urgently necessary and may imply specified areas being left free of radiofrequency exposure. By that meaning that geographical areas need to be left unexposed for safety reasons for all living forms. And uh, furthermore, the undersigned Roland von Malborg 
requests the responsible authorities to respond immediately to the issues of basic safety standard limit for non-ionizing radiation using the attached scientific approach and spread it to world achieving the truly protective measures. Um, unfortunately, um, already from our previous work with ionizing radiation uh, risks, we know that these agencies don't um, answer these important communication matters and um, are more likely even now to be expected to avoid communications as unfortunately these agencies have to be now understood to be overtaken by occupying forces and are using these technical devices to commit world-wide scale mass murder through these telecommunication devices. That is a very heavy accusation to tell, but I have been working with this issue already for 10 years and I have on the channel Radioactive BSR on YouTube and also on the web pages bsrrw.org and ifrrr.org as well as nuclearjustice.org and euratcom.eu all the evidence of such unfortunate development of things which can lead to extinction of all living species, not only humans. And this is why this reform has to be supported by each one and every of you viewers. It is urgent. We are facing worldwide extinction and uh, that has been put forward by a network that uses these quiet weapons in silent wars as that have been already scientifically designed since the Second World War by scientific networks. And you can find this uh, revelation also put forward by such specialists.
Mal comprises the banking cartel, the oil cartel, big transnational corporations, the intelligence agencies, many of them, but including the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, a couple of foreign ones, uh, the MI6 from the UK and uh, the Mossad from uh, Israel, and a huge slice of the American military. And they are the cabal, and they have been running the United States for the last half century, to the point where presidents have been little more than talking heads, and the Congress hasn't had a clue as to what was going on. After World War II, there was a, an operation called Operation Paperclip, which was um, approved by President Truman to bring Nazi scientists to the United States to help, presumably, in the Cold War that would uh, ensue. President Truman agreed on the condition that none of the scientists were to have been active members of the Nazi party. The armed forces who were doing the invitation, the army in particular, uh, paid no attention to the president. As a former minister of national defense, I know how that works. And uh, they recruited the ones they wanted. They gave them new names new histories, and high-ranking jobs in the United States in the military and civil establishments. They were working on missiles and, uh, and uh, new, new weapon systems of various kinds. Well, then after the cra two crashes at Roswell, two UFO crashes at Roswell, on July the 4th, 1947, one of the machines was sufficiently intact to be recovered. Okay, that is where he goes in into the information about that, all this fancy technology that we have received the last 50 years has been uh, worked into our society from uh, UFO technology. I will not go into that subject because um, it is um, less important. More important is that we have these advanced technologies uh, that are being used to mass murder people and our governments have been infiltrated and as he rightfully said they are more or less paid talking heads that have no power whatsoever and each country has a deep state of rulers that none of you know. And that is one of the reasons why we have proclaimed Godland of visible, reliable, loving rulers, Dita and Leif of Godland with here in Sweden reliable king Leif the first and his webpage is mss.lege.net which is a very important lawful move to create again to restore reliable true verified and validated administration of each place. And you can see more of the banking of indigenous people and the court system of indigenous people on loveorder.info. And that is also how we stop the bank cartel that is right now using a weapon that is called money, which is not money at all. And it is digital weapon. 
through cards, bank cards that have already chipped us and identity ID cards that have already chipped everybody. And that is stopped by indigenous courts that you have to organize yourself in your indigenous societies that you have to organize yourself. And through OXA real money that has your own energy value. That's why you can create it yourself by filling an OXA form each month. You get your basic income, work free, and you get professional income by filling the work you do and getting it approved in indigenous societies. And then uh, they are converted through the elected local council in, to be able to be used to get local goods. That is sort of the first level of creation of true protective order. Okay, and uh, now I will just... Uh, oh, okay, and you can, I suggest also that you check um, Deborah Tavares' um, web pages on YouTube and on Network. Stop the Crime is um, her web page name. Deborah Tavares, that has really dug up all the administrative, um, important, most important methods and uh, techniques, how this network of quiet wars through silent weapons, decisive depopulation matrix, how it has been put, how it is all has been organized through these paperclip scientist networks in the whole world. They have right now established their new world order already. And um, it's up to us now to restore our order of love, peace and welfare through indigenous societies and divine connections. So, and so the second is issue is uh, that I mentioned I would talk about is this SOS about what's going on in Sweden and I bet it's going on in your local networks as well as this is a worldwide scheme. They have the same methodology, it's going on in all areas. And I will tell you just practically what happened to me in this house when uh, I, passing by through my apartment with this lovely electrosmog meter by Cornet. As you can see, it is quite fine here, but that is because I have covered the walls and ceilings with the safe electromagnetic radiation protection paint color. And this has been put over that. But anyway, when I was passing by, I suddenly saw that at this modem in my home made in Vietnam <laughs> on the setting where Wi-Fi is switched off Electromagnetic radiation was still tipping in the red. And I was totally shocked. What's going on? You can see videos of me getting those measurements 
which are done live just in the moment of impact and realization of it. And uh, I thought that this modem has been has gotten some defect. So I called Telia, local Swedish Telia. That is, by the way, the old Swedish state company of Televerket, corporatized corporation nowadays. And um, unfortunately, they didn't have anybody who could answer me on the security issues of electromagnetic radiation. I called them several times in December as I understood that this modem was uh, has uh, dysfunction now and uh, all of my um, work to find a security responsible and knowledgeable people failed. You can see that in the videos on uh, YouTube radioactive BSR channel, Baltic Sea region, BSR. Okay, and um, so, and they didn't send me a new modem when I told them that it is shooting, that it has gone crazy and it is shooting um, levels of radiation that it shouldn't do. I told them that I bought I, I got th this device and I tested it directly and I saw that when I switch, I push this button, I can get Wi-Fi and then here is a green lamp and then when I push this button for 10 seconds again, it turns blue when the Wi-Fi is not working anymore and, and then I can have my wired network of computers in the house and it is totally free of electromagnetic radiation and I have been using it for a year and a year before and I have a video even when I was sort of um, video, video filming that it wasn't emitting on the blue setting it was totally clear And I trusted this product, so I was happy about my wired computer system on the blue wire-free setting, because it didn't emit any electromagnetic radiation. But now, in the, in the middle of December, I discovered that it does now. And... Um, I don't know how long it has been doing that because I trusted them and I I haven't been measuring it for a couple of months actually. So I don't know, they might might have started already they might have already Telia Corporation might have already changed its program a couple of months ago or maybe even three, four months ago, because the last record of me measuring these devices I have from July and now it is January. So um, there are heavy uh, health issues involved with exposure to these, the frequent exposure to electromagnetic radiation. Um, but in Sweden, they uh, don't pay you if they have uh, damaged your health. They, uh, it is hardly possible to get any uh, courts to uh, provide you um, any repl replacement, replacement um, sums for damaged health that they have created. It is um, much more proper order in the United States. That's probably why United States are being brought down now. 
But anyway, to make it further, uh, so I, uh, at last, after two weeks of, uh, no, after, after a week, they promised me that they would, from the, their administration office, by their program, switch off the Wi-Fi in my apartment, so it wouldn't irradiate us anymore. Okay? So they can do it. They can in their office, that is hundreds of kilometers away from here, they can just switch off the digital technological network. They can switch off that um, we don't get Wi-Fi here. So this modem wouldn't, because I couldn't switch off the radiation. Just, even, even when I switched the blue button on. And uh, <clears throat> then I went abroad and I came back and I called them and I said, okay, we have checked this uh, situation and uh, we cannot accept this product because we need Wi-Fi sometimes, we need to put it on and we, uh, we want to have a full functional modem. And they told me that it is full functional and they don't sort of, they don't uh, care about how much it radiates. Because they are just technical providers of internet and uh, telecommunications as telephone as well. And when I started telling them that there are health issues with that, uh, they were very surprised. And uh, when I asked them for responsible in um, security, they said that they don't have any. And when I asked them for uh, they, to, to talk with their chiefs, they uh, didn't have such possibilities. So it is, when I asked them for their name, they gave me only the first name, no surname. So this is a totally irresponsible corporation that is uh, already designed to be able to cook people without any responsibility for it. It's a perfect weapon system. Absolutely brilliant. To make short, uh, long story short, at last I managed to get a new modem And that brought me to the worst shock of all. The new modem was acting the same. So absolutely new, brand new modem does not allow you to switch off radiation, electromagnetic radiation. When you switched off Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi stops working, but the radiation level, electromagnetic radiation level, is the same. And that was not so in July. That I can guarantee. And that was not so before, because I have had this instrument all the time, and I have been measuring it when I got these modems. I was so happy when I switched off the green that it totally went down on the blue setting. And I got all these wired computer systems and felt at ease and trusted Telia. But now we cannot trust uh, these corporations anymore and we have to demand them to urgently change their praxis, to urgently show to us what programs they have changed that this electromagnetic frequency radiation is emitting also on Wi-Fi free mode. And there has to be penalty for such health endangering 
commercial activity. And um, in this work, your local indigenous and citizen societies are crucial. Because please don't expect that your radiation protection agencies will do this work. We have met them, we have communicated with them for 10 years. They are corrupt. They won't do the work necessary. So it's up to us to hold our indigenous courts, to hold our citizen courts within indigenous jurisdiction or any common law jurisdiction you find reliable. Don't expect the commercial courts of Roman law to bring these issues forward because they are all under one commercial code and this uh, illegitimate money system that we have right now in the world has corrupted them all. And please, do what you can to buy while you can these wonderful devices that will protect you and your family from uh, electromagnetic war era that is upon us. We are in the middle of it. And thank you so much that you still have managed to be with us in these heavy times. One more tip. Kevin Galalaye has fabulous work on uh, the whole depopulation matrix and you can find him on Facebook and his many publications are also copied in the bsrrw.org. And he has right now proclaimed himself to be reliable to take over Rothschilds, Rockefellers and other large corporate schemes of finance investments. He has written to them all and he has demanded them to give over their funds to him so that he can redistribute the funds to stop depopulation that is a mass murder of all the species of the world and so we can start repopulation of our beloved Mother Earth with the loving and wonderful survivors. We are all damaged by all these weapons and systems. We will do our best to restore. And the gods will be with us.